well, first I'd like to uh, thank the presenters for their uh, very informative and uh, very uh, interesting presentations. Um, they do raise a number of very interesting uh, issues. Um, first off, with the concept of uh, Creative Commons, um, personally I'm, I'm a rather big fan of the concept of Creative Commons. My, uh, my own personal blog uh, uses it. Um, for that matter, I'm also a fan of open source, um, as I, uh, I personally use uh, an open source uh, operating system as a uh, both at work and at home. But with a lot of these concepts, they're only the communities themselves are only really as good as the users. And ultimately, we still need to coexist in a system where there is a proprietary, where there is proprietary software, proprietary content on the internet, and uh, uh, stuff that we would, we, would, we would consider under the, under the scope of Creative Commons. Um, at any rate, the issue that I really um, would like to address here is the use of fair use. This is where most of us uh, in the internet community really run into problems. Uh, we don't really run into it as much with Creative Commons stuff. I mean, there's a certain amount of understanding uh, amongst people who, uh, who, who operate in that sphere in terms of what we can do in terms of, uh, of copying and, and sharing content. But it's this fair use thing that really gets us uh, somewhat confused, um, particularly as you notice, uh, as I mentioned a couple of times here, we've had the issue of, uh, uh, with one particular never, uh, blog on never.com, which um, you know, was uh, forced to, uh, I guess what I guess in Korean it would be a blind chori, it would be to take down uh, a particular uh, posting because it had contained a video of a five-year-old girl singing a song. And some might wonder whether uh, that's perhaps taking, uh, taking what might ordinarily be considered fair use and maybe uh, 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 enforcing copyright protections, taking that maybe a little too far. Um, then there are also issues, for example, of uh, well, confusing statements, to be frank. Um, for example, even today, we've heard several times that, uh, that uh, with, with the, with the uh, amended uh, copyright law going into effect, that the main targets are going to be uh, heavy uploaders or, uh, or sites that are, uh, are, uh, are uh, fostering the sharing of such files, right? Um, for example, even this morning, I read in one particular newspaper uh, one Ministry of Culture official uh, go that uh, that in principle one uh, chicha that that there was going that for example parodies you know, taking copyrighted materials and making parodies out of them uh, that in principle this was illegal but in fact there's nothing to worry about because we're not going to go after the general user and this really doesn't uh, instill a sense of confidence in the general user okay well. It's, it's illegal, but you're not going to go after us. It, it just it doesn't really uh, it doesn't really uh, it, like I said it doesn't really instill a sense of confidence. Um, and actual, to be frank, uh, fair use in general is like this. Fair use is a very sort of gray area. Um, just to give you a couple of examples and ones that I deal with uh, being a blogger. Um, what we, uh, what we call in the blogging community fisting news, where we'll take a, a news article, an entire news article, and go line by line and either mock it or criticize it. Um, we're taking somebody, somebody else's content and reproducing it in whole on our site. Is that fair use? Is it not? Uh, news translations. I frequently take uh, trans, you know, uh, Korean language news reports and I translate them. I mean, the fact that I've written it in English doesn't take away from the fact that they still have a copyright on the original content. I'm not asking for their permission to do that. Is that fair use? Is it not? Um, so there's actually a fair lot of confusion out there, and you know, um, we, the way we see it is, um, especially in light of uh, what's going on with Never.com, um, you know, there's there's some uh, room for concern. Ah, uh, yeah. 감사합니다. 그, 콜로 편집장님께서, 어, 
여러 가지 이제 분명한 말씀을 해주셨는데요. 시세의 경우에 어, 상업적인 컨텐츠하고의 어떤 공존 어, 그런 문제에 대한 지적을 또 해주셨고 어, 지금 여러 가지 그 비영리적인 목적의 어, 컨텐츠에 대한 어, 과잉 집행의 문제 어, 그리고 페어 유스 기준이 어, 애매해서 어, 혼란스러운 문제 이런 문제들이 아마 해결되어야 된다 하는 그런 취지로 말씀을 해주신 것 같습니다. 예, 다음으로 정혜성 실장님 말씀을 들어보도록 하겠습니다.